Hello everyone! I hope you're all having a great Sunday and uh, just a little something before uh, I start the game. Uh, I've been contacted by the winners of the five Amazon gift cards and uh, one user though, uh, Una Poca Cosa, uh, your YouTube or Google Plus settings are prob probably set to super private. So I'm unable to answer you. Uh, what I need for you to do is if you're watching this video, just send me your email address so I can send the gift card. And uh, I still wasn't contacted by the winner of the main prize, Luka Jovic, the championship chess set. Uh, but okay, it is the weekend, I understand, I will give it one more day and then uh, I will try to contact you. And uh, one other thing, um, hmm. uh, it seems my videos were being translated into other languages for the past three months by, by subscribers and YouTube hasn't notified me of this. So I just checked, there were there are like 50 videos translated into other languages, you know, to Russian, Italian, Portuguese... Uh, a lot of languages and uh, thank you very much you know it really means a lot to me that my videos are available to people who don't speak English uh, unfortunately YouTube doesn't tell me uh, which user did this it you know it's just under community contributions so if any of you have uh, translated any of my videos just write in any video of mine hashtag uh, translation or hashtag translate uh, so I can properly thank you uh, uh, okay, uh, that being said, uh, this game was played 10 years ago, in 2007 in the European Cup. It was played between Jobao Badur and Arkady Naidic, uh, a very strong uh, grandmaster from Azerbaijan. And I was checking out a lot of games, a lot of your suggestions uh, for my today's game, but as today is uh, Jobava's 34th birthday, uh, I d decided to show a Jobava game. And uh, the opening used in this game is the Berlin Defense. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, no, man, not, not the Berlin Defense. Uh, but th that's what I like about Jobav. He can make a game in the Berlin Defense seem <laughs> very interesting. Uh, so let's see the game. Uh, Jobav has the white pieces and he plays e4. We have e5, knight to f3, uh, knight c6, and bishop to b5, the Rue Lopez. And now we have knight to f6. Uh, the Berlin defense. Uh, this is this is the move Kramnik used uh, to rob Kasparov of his world championship title. Uh, we have castles by Jobava, knight captures on e4, d4 and knight to d6. Uh, Black can go for a line e captures on d4 just as well, but after rook e1 and something like d5, queen captures on d4, uh, it's considered a bit better for white and uh, well you generally don't want to play against Jobava with queens on the board. So after d4, knight to d6 was played, bishop captures on c6, d captures on c6, and d captures on e5. Knight to f5, we have queen captures, king captures, and uh, we reach the famous uh, Berlin ending. Uh, knight to c3, and we have h6, uh, controlling that g5 square. Uh, White could have gone for knight to g5 immediately, for example, but he hasn't developed any of his pieces, there really is no need to to do this, black can simply play king e8 and everything is fine. Uh, so first knight c3 and now h6, controlling the g5 square, uh, h3 and this is a very very useful move, it's not just copying black's h6 move, uh, white does have a, an advantage on the king side, he has 4 pawns uh, to black's 3 pawns, so white will at some point want to push g4 and f4 and uh, you know really get his uh, pawn majority rolling. Uh, bishop to d7. Uh, we have b3, uh, knight to e7, preparing knight g6 uh, to create an attack against the e5 pawn. And in this position, usually in those days, bishop to d2 was the main move. Uh, but here we have a novelty by Jobava, he plays bishop to a3. And uh, here we have b6. b6 probably with an idea of c5 and locking that bishop on a3. Uh, Black should have gone for something like knight to g6 immediately. And after bishop captures on f8 and rook captures, this position would be okay for black to play. But as uh, bishop to a3 was a novelty, uh, black didn't find the best response over the board. So b6, and here we have rook a to d1, uh, pinning that bishop. So Arkady immediately plays king to c8. We have bishop captures on e7, bishop captures on e7, and knight to d4. Uh, we have rook to d8, and now f4. And okay, uh, white managed to do what uh, white wants to do when playing white in the Berlin defense. He started his uh, pawn majority on the king side, he's preparing g4, uh, and we have g6 now. Uh, f5 by Jobava, and uh, bishop to b4, now attacking that knight on c3 that is undefended. 
Uh, Black could have tried something like g captures on f5, but after knight captures on f5, attacking the bishop on e7, and uh, bishop to f8, after g4, this is this is a great position for white. Uh, he has this beautiful knight on f5. If Black captures it at any moment, only this light square bishop can capture it, then g captures on f5, uh, white will have a beautiful pawn, pawn pair. Uh, so after f5, uh, Arkady tried bishop to b4, and now, uh, I don't know if uh, Jobava had this position planned all over, when you play in a style that Jobava plays in, uh, you kind of have to have a lot of things prepared at home, so he might have this uh, prepared, you know, prior to the game. Uh, here, uh, Jobava doesn't react to this knight being attacked, he plays f captures on g6. And what do you do here? Well, uh, Arkady played bishop captures on c3. He captured the knight. But f captures on g6, if you play something like this, then e6 is coming with an attack on the bishop. And after bishop e8, uh, knight to e4, and this position is, is great for white. This, this, is a, this is a very strong pawn. So Arkady decided uh, he's going to try and uh, play up a piece. So bishop captures on c3. g captures on f7, and now rook to f8, not allowing f8 pawn. Uh, rook to f6, now preparing the move uh, e6 at some point, and uh, c5, uh, kicking the knight away. And this is a very, very poisonous position. I will just show what happens uh, if Arkady decided to play bishop captures on d4, as he is up a piece, so why not exchange pieces? Uh, if bishop captures on d4, for example, rook captures on d4, and now after c5, uh, rook to d5, and after king to d8, as black would really enjoy uh, playing king to e7, uh, white has this uh, beautiful move, rook to e6. Uh, as the bishop is pinned, this is, uh, this is very nice. Uh, so after something like a a5, uh, rook to e8, check, uh, rook captures, now e6, and for example, king to e7, uh, rook captures on d7, king captures on e6, uh, f captures on e8 with queen, with check, rook captures and rook captures on c7. Uh, Jobava would be up a pawn and uh, with this beautiful rook on c7 uh, pr probably winning the game. Uh, so after rook to f6, uh, we have c5 now. Uh, knight to f3, uh, protecting, uh, protecting d5 pawn and bishop to b5. And unfortunately, Jobava can't push e6 yet, because this bishop is a, will be attacking the rook on f6. So he plays king to f2, improving the position of his king, which is something you always want to do uh, in an endgame. Uh, Arkady still has this inactive rook uh, on a8. Uh, king to b7, preparing to bring the rook into the game. We have rook to f5, now getting the rook uh, out of the bishop's way, and is preparing to push e6. Uh, bishop to c6 now, uh, e6... And we have bishop to e4 with an attack on the rook. Uh, rook to f4 attacking the bishop, bishop to g6. And in this position, uh, the grandmaster from Azerbaijan, Arkady Naidish, resigned the game uh, without even waiting for a reply from Jobava, as uh, uh, th these two pass pawns are simply too powerful. Black, uh, Black doesn't have a move in this position. Uh, you can never bring this a8 rook into the game. Uh, if you play something like... Uh, White can simply play rook to f1, and uh, his idea is pretty simple. He will move the king, he will move the knight, and then push e7 at some point uh, when the two rooks will be defending the f7 pawn. So black doesn't really have anything here. He can't bring the rook into the game. Uh, the e7 wins instantly, and uh, it's very hard. You can't even play something like bishop captures on f7 to give up, uh, give up a piece, you know, to grab the pawns, because e7 is coming. And after the rook moves, rook captures on f7, and, uh, you know, uh, a completely winning endgame for white. So, after this uh, bishop to g6 move, uh, Nadish resigned the game, and uh, this beautiful, beautiful 25-move game by Jobava Badurub was created. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it was a Berlin defense, uh, queens, got, queens got traded off, as they usually are, they reached uh, the Berlin ending, and uh, still, we have a 25-move miniature by Jobava, sacrificing a piece in the end game. So, very nice, and uh, once again, uh, <laughs> happy birthday to Jobava Badur, and uh, may, he, may he, you know, entertain the chess world uh, for many years to come. So, that's it. That's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.